I shelled out 200 big ones to enroll in Airac's six week long Create an Hour course for aspiring YouTube creators. But was it worth it? Should you enroll? First of all, if you aren't familiar with Airac, he grew his channel from zero to a million subscribers in the year of 2020 completely organically, which is a hugely impressive and pretty much unprecedented feat. He makes some of the craziest content on the platform and clearly knows what works to grow a channel. So he created Creator Now, a community limited to 300 members who would connect with each other, give feedback on each other's content, and there would be hosted video roast sessions and masterclasses with some of YouTube's Goliaths, Samir Chaudhry, Hayden Hillier Smith. So I enrolled, because why not? And here is essentially a diary of exactly what happened on the six weeks of the course. Stick around to the end to find sort of a summary of the top tips and advice I learned from the past six weeks. So this all kicked off around the end of April 2020 with the launch live stream by Airac and the creation of the group on the platform Geneva, which I'd never heard of, but worked very well. There was some initial discussion on the Geneva platform. Airac himself was kicking around, he gave some feedback on my 10 minute trips thumbnail that day. And as most small YouTubers do when given a shred of a chance, there was a hell of a lot of self-promotion going on, but that's natural. Things died down a little as week one progressed. I uploaded my first video of the course, which was the 10 minute trips Willy Wonka factory. And after a couple of technical hitches, I managed to get it uploaded to the Creator Now dashboard. Whether it's down to the Creator Now effect, Airax thumbnail advice, or whether it was just a banging video, it did really well, actually. The, the best of the latest 10 prior to that. We were sorted into teams of 10, I was in team 27, and I got allocated accountability buddies to keep us accountable for posting every week. However, mine didn't show up. There were two team members in team 27 who had paid the full money but didn't really do anything, which is odd. The rest of my team, however, were lovely. We had our own little private chat room on Geneva, answering each other's questions commenting on each other's videos, it was, it was great. There are also full group voice and video chats which Eric, Mac and Phidias occasionally popped on for a little bit. But due to sort of time zone differences between LA and England, this always tended to happen at like 2 a.m. so I never was uh, around for that. On the Wednesday of week one was the very first masterclass of the course with Logan Paul's editor Hayden Hillier-Smith. Again, I didn't make the Zoom session live because it was at 1am UK time, but I did catch up with it the next day on replay. And then at the end of the week was uh, Samir's workshop uh, of Colin and Samir. He did a presentation and a Q&A and oh, it's just invaluable. I mean, he's just a YouTube academic at this point. He knows everything there is to know about YouTube. He clearly knows what he's talking about because he said Max Fosh was his favorite YouTuber, so you know. What can I say? Okay, week two rolls around. I put up and verified my second upload, which was the Photoshop battle. There was one guy who uploaded a video collaborating with Mr. Beast, and he had like a thousand subscribers, which was kinda mad. On Thursday evening, I missed Eric's first roast session. He didn't roast my videos. I did make it to Max Weekly Editing Workshop, which was cracking stuff. Week three rolls around. I post my green screening runway ML video and was also that same morning a, a podcast guest on Ellie's podcast. You can check that out in the description below. Also, coincidentally that same evening, I hosted my own podcast episode with Ellie Marie TV and John from the YouTube channel Killick. That video just recently went live, I think. So check that out if you haven't already. We discuss more in detail about the Creator Now course. Also in week three, I signed up for my free six weeks of Epidemic Sound, which was included in the Creator Now package. Pretty sweet, I used it for pretty much every video since then. Week four was my 10 minute trips to the Mission Impossible set. This video, I mean, it was kind of a hot topic. Local newspapers picked it up and shed it around. Long story short, it did really well. Can't necessarily say that Creator Now was integral to this success. I think it would have done well regardless. Week four was pretty busy for me because I flew to the States where I currently am. I watched a few replays of sessions I'd missed on the plane. Week five, I uploaded my welly wanging video, which was top notch content. If you haven't seen it, please, please do. Uh, Hayden Hillier Smith led another Zoom workshop. And also as part of the program, there was this collaboration with a company called Arizona Iced Tea, where they gave all US based members of Creator Now a free $50 discount to literally anything on their store. Now, I'm not a huge iced tea guy, but they also had just general merch and shirts and whatever on their store. So I ordered this shirt, this shirt, and a notebook from their store and only had to pay for shipping, which was great. They also threw in some free iced tea, 
which I didn't really want and won't use, but I'll just give to somebody. Can't complain with that, and pretty convenient that I happened to be in the USA for this very short period of eligible time. Week six, I uploaded my final video of the course, which was fairly meta because it was a video about the course, the podcast episode with Ellie and John. And I also received my Arizona merch, as I have just shown off. There was another workshop led by Tiffany Zong, who is the CEO of Islands, which is a creator community platform thing. And there was a final Eric Rose session. Again, not including a single one of my videos, but yeah, it's fine. That was it, six weeks and 200 bucks later, the first graduates of the Creator Now Academy are ready to fledge their wings and fly the nest, if that's the saying. But was it worth it? In some ways, no. The Creator Now website dashboard hub was bigged up as a big part of the program, but nobody used it. The statistics on there were completely just random and made no sense. And for most of the time, the website just crashed and wouldn't even load the team leaderboards. After week one, Eric, Mac, and Phidias really weren't very active on the group. They came in here and there. Eric posted some um, analytics, which were kind of cool. For the most part, they were pretty hands off. While he was marketing the course at the very beginning, Eric posted on his Instagram story that, oh, Mr. Beast signed up for the Creator Now program, but he, he didn't. On the other hand, the workshops from Hayden Hillier Smith, Mac, Samir, everybody else were amazing and actually really useful. While Eric didn't roast my videos, he roasted a lot of other people's videos and the same sort of messages about, you know, setting stakes, pacing still applied to mine, so they weren't a total waste of time. I delved into this a bit more deeply with uh, Ellie and John in the podcast episode. Community aspect of Creator Now was actually really useful. For me, posting my thumbnails for others to critique and critiquing others' thumbnails was a very useful process. As John said in the podcast, it was also helpful to have a form of accountability and nice pressure, forcing us creatively, in a good way, to make videos every single week. And there were a lot of collaborations between members of the group. Some people made videos together, I did these podcasts with, with other members. In more quantifiable terms, the discount at Arizona was a, a good deal, I suppose, as was the free six weeks at Epidemic Sound and the lifetime free code to have Notion, which a lot of people in the group found really useful. And for the couple people at the end who were selected to win a brand new Sony camera or a, a year long subscription to Epidemic Sound, again, the sort of the cost benefit probably was a little bit more on the benefit side of things. But did my channel grow as a result of Creator Now? Was I satisfied enough not to ask for my money back? I recorded this on day one of the course. Just a little benchmark before Creator Now fully starts and before I release any videos, we'll just compare at the end of the six weeks how my growth has been impacted, if at all. As of right now, the day before my first upload, the day that Creator Now has started, I'm on 2,917 subscribers. I am now on 2,950 subscribers. I've been getting 17 subscribers a month. I've been getting 24 subscribers a month. In the last 90 days, that's 79. In the last 90 days, that's 78. Two and a half thousand hours of watch time in the last 90 days. Still got two and a half thousand hours of watch time in the last 90 days. 26 and a half thousand views in the last 90 days. And about 26 and a half thousand views in the last 90 days. We'll see how these change, if at all. They haven't really changed. They're exactly the same. I haven't grown at all in the last six weeks, but I haven't gotten down, which is good, I suppose. So what do you think? If you're an aspiring creator, would you sign up? And if the answer is yes, you can do that. The second cohort, I think they're recruiting for that now. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you.